name is Tom Mooney, Fiber Products Applications Engineer here at Charles Industries. Today I will demonstrate the installation of a splitter into an optical hub cabinet or OHC. We'll be using the OHC 432 and a 1x32 splitter. The routing of the splitters is the same regardless of the size OHC you'll be using in your deployment. Before beginning splitter installation, be sure to follow company approved methods and procedures for fiber connector cleaning. To conserve time, cleaning of fiber connectors has been omitted from this video. OHC cabinets are fitted with either a horizontally or vertically positioned splitter chassis. Both orientations are demonstrated in this video. To begin the splitter installation, first carefully remove the splitter module from its packaging. Insert the splitter module into the splitter chassis. You will notice this OHC has a vertical splitter chassis. There is a positive latch that will secure the splitter module into position. Once the splitter module has been installed, splitter tail routing can begin as shown. For best access during troubleshooting or repair activities, route each splitter's blue input tail behind the splitter's output fiber bundle. Remove the dust cap from the splitter connector and lift the adapter shutter. Insert the splitter connector into the adapter. All feed adapters have a yellow protective shutter. Now route the splitter tail outputs around the fiber slack spools and over the fiber bend control. Plug each of the splitter output connectors into the distribution adapters. For later service connections, Unused splitter tail outputs may be conveniently stored in the splitter tail storage section of the cabinet. To add a second splitter module, simply remove the splitter retaining bracket by depressing the release clip. Slide in the second module until the positive latch has secured the splitter module. Reinsert the splitter retaining bracket into the chassis. Use the same procedure to install additional splitter modules. When it becomes necessary to activate one of the unused splitter tails from the splitter tail storage section, remove a splitter tail from the storage section and route the tail as previously demonstrated in this video. Terminate the splitter tail into the appropriate distribution adapter. The following animation shows splitter tail routing with a horizontal splitter chassis. Thank you for viewing this OHC splitter installation training video. If you require additional information concerning this procedure, please contact Charles Industries Technical Support Team at the telephone number or email shown here.